phosphorus, how it impacts food security. Have you heard of phosphorus? It's a naturally abundant mineral essential for the growth of plants. Although it naturally replenishes, the slow regeneration cycle of phosphorus reserves has led to concerns over improper management and unsustainable extraction for use in agricultural fertilizers. Let's take a look at how this might impact future food systems. Why agriculture needs phosphorus? Much like us, plants require macro and micronutrients to grow. Phosphorus, the 11th most abundant element in the Earth's crust, is one such micronutrient that is pivotal in providing the energy needed for growth in all plants. By consuming plants as food, humans and animals are also able to access phosphorus in the soil that would have otherwise been bio-unavailable. Interestingly, while humans and animals also need phosphorus as a key mineral for life, almost all of it consumed via food is excreted. In the past, this excreted phosphorus would return to the soil in the form of manure and plants would once again use it for their growth. Traditional methods of returning phosphorus to the soil, such as composting, and using human and animal waste as fertilizer, have been replaced by modern methods that enrich the soil faster. Modern agriculture, focused on high intensity and high output, breaks this natural phosphorus cycle. Today, the majority of industrial crops receive most of their phosphorus from synthetic fertilizers. This phosphorus comes from phosphate rock, a finite resource extracted from the Earth's crust. Formed over millions of years, the mineral-rich rock is concentrated in a select few parts of the world like Morocco, China, South Africa, Jordan and the United States. Currently, the phosphate rock is being extracted and traded at a rapid pace. This is being done in order to produce enough fertilizer to obtain high crop yields from limited agricultural land, with the amount of land under cultivation increasing slower than the proportional demand for food, the food system is pressured into growing more food in less space. Depleting Reserves Rising Prices In the 1950s and 60s, the Green Revolution sought to increase worldwide agricultural production through agricultural intensification in an attempt to improve global food security. A common way to successfully achieve intensification is to increase inputs of fertilizers, mainly nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus. Nitrogen fertilizers can be produced from atmospheric nitrogen, which is available in abundance. Potassium and phosphorus, however, are both limited resources, with phosphorus being a bigger concern than potassium. While there is no consensus about when we will run out of phosphate rock resources in the future, most researchers investigating the issue agree that the pace of phosphate extraction is unsustainable and that it will lead to consequences for future food production. While phosphorus is never truly removed from the natural cycle, it can become hard to recover for long periods of time. For instance, if it enters lakes or seas, it binds with other compounds and ends up as sediment at the bottom of these water bodies. Recovering this phosphorus for use in agriculture is economically and technologically challenging. Experts also estimate that the economic, social and political implications of phosphorus scarcity are likely to begin well before reserves run out. These challenges may be unprecedented for humanity because never before have we been faced with the threat of a vital, non-replaceable element running out. Closest comparison to the challenges this would present can be seen in the case of depletion of fossil fuel resources. But while fossil fuel depletion is being dealt with by developing alternative sources of renewable energy, there are no known biological or technological substitutes for phosphorus. When will we see the impacts of phosphorus scarcities? Food production will be impacted by the scarcity when the demand for phosphorus exceeds the supply and fertilizer costs start rising. Countries that have no phosphorus reserves 
or are politically conflicted with phosphorus exporting countries are likely to be the worst affected. Next to this, countries that have phosphorus reserves may not be able to access it due to various economic and developmental factors. Africa, via Morocco and Western Sahara, is the world's largest exporter of mineral phosphorus. However, this does not mean that African countries can access phosphorus easily. Compared to Europe, phosphorus fertilizer is more expensive in sub-Saharan Africa in terms of its relative price and as a portion of the farm's budget. As a result of economic underdevelopment, many African countries cannot afford to purchase sufficient phosphorus for their agricultural needs and suffer from acute food shortages. Advocating for increased transparency The phosphorus supply chain is often described as a black box. It is estimated that as much as 80% of the phosphate rock is lost during its journey from the mine to our plate. However, the lack of reliable data makes it difficult to determine where and how exactly it is wasted. In the past, it was thought that adding excess phosphorus to soil was beneficial because it would remain in the soil for years to come, improving the fertility of the soil in the region. We now know that this is not the case. Instead of accumulating, excess phosphorus in soils is generally lost through leaching and surface runoff, often ending up in freshwater bodies. This in turn leads to eutrophication, wherein high nutrient or mineral loads in water lead to excessive algal growth in lakes, reservoirs, and other stagnant sources of potable water. Eutrophication blocks the inflow of oxygen in the water body, disrupting ecosystems and creating dead zones. Improved transparency in reporting about phosphorus use on farms and earlier in the supply chain can provide valuable insights which can help to prevent phosphorus from being wasted. Phosphorus and its social issues Next to environmental concerns, the phosphorus supply chain is known to be afflicted by social issues as well. Morocco, the world's largest exporter of phosphate, has been known to violate international law and procure a quarter of its exports from the disputed region of Western Sahara. It has also been accused of violating the human rights of the Saharawi people, who are indigenous to Western Sahara, by operating phosphate mines in their native land, while not providing fair employment opportunities. Transparent reporting in the phosphorus supply chain would allow for better informed policy making on not only food security and water pollution, but also human well-being. What solutions and strategies are there? Averting a global phosphorus crisis will require systemic change in the way we grow, fertilize, process, and transport food. Some strategies that could help include applying fertilizers in moderation, bioengineering crops that require less phosphorus than traditional varieties, preventing runoff losses from fields, and returning non-consumable parts of the crop to the soil to compost instead of feeding it to livestock. Although more complicated than previously mentioned solutions, human waste can also play a role in improving the situation. Urine, being rich in phosphorus, could provide half of the phosphorus necessary to grow cereal crops. This would require major infrastructural changes in the way sewage systems are planned because urine must be separated from fecal matter in order to be safely used as a fertilizer on farms. Fun fact. Sweden is a global pioneer in collecting human urine for use in agriculture. By adapting the sewage system in various parts of the country to divert and collect urine separately, Sweden has been able to successfully use it as a natural fertilizer. To implement these solutions, phosphorus scarcity must be recognized as an important issue, warranting the attention of international organizations and national governments. Governance structures that ensure the equitable and sustainable use of phosphorus resources in the long term are vital if we want to ensure that the food system of the future is capable of feeding our rapidly growing population. Do you know whether your local government plans on recovering phosphorus from human waste in the near future? 
let us know on social media linked in the description box. This article was written and read by me, Madhura Rao, and was originally posted on foodunfolded.com.